Welcome back to the channel. In today's video covering a very hot topic here with Google announcing the release of Bard, their rival to ChatGPT. Check the timestamps out down below. We're going to do a quick update on the markets, jump into the AI release from Google, and then look at some AI coins down the line in this video. If you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, starting here on the Decent Trader dashboard, go and check them out. Link down below. I know a lot of you signed up from yesterday for the seven day free trial. It is very much insightful. So, here on the Predator Thermal Vision, you can see BTC is looking bullish on the very short term time horizons here, as is Ethereum as well. But we do have some potential headwinds coming over the next few days. But this is telling me the long term trend is still generally up. And this kind of fits in with Eric Crown's analysis here, probably pushing sideways here, maybe a spot bike towards 23,300, 400, that kind of region, CME gap. Fill that, but potentially we have a bit of a leg down, maybe to the low 21s or even 20s. I think we do need to revisit that kind of area before we can shift on out from here, as I think the BTC chart will start to look a lot more healthy if we do get a bit of a retrace down to that region and test it as support. So Bitcoin here, open interest is up slightly. However, the funding rate is actually now negative. This is seen it more neutral rather than bearish from yesterday yesterday and the long to short ratio has stagnated here at 1.5 longs to short so that is neutral then we have ETH here open interest again up slightly around 2% funding rate is negative slightly here as well but the long to short ratio has decreased from 1.3 to 1.2 we do have chair of the Fed Jay Powell speaking later today and we've also got this on the February the 14th that is the upcoming CPI data as well just looking at the broad market here Dixie has been pushing up very nicely here. This is a range that is now set from around the start of January. That is January the 9th from this breakdown. So from around this region, around 104 all the way down to 101.5 here could be a new range that we actually set. If it does start to break out from here, however, this puts a lot of pressure on the likes of the S&P 500. And of course, the S&P 500 is highly correlated to BTC. So this is quite concerning. If this continues to pump higher, we're going to see risk assets more broadly take a leg down. Bitcoin still at around 20. 3,000 bucks, a few spikes of the range low here, maybe a CME gap fill up to this kind of region in here, in this pocket. But if we do fail to start breaking through this kind of price action, 23 and a half towards the highs, 24K, well, it looks like we're going to have a bit of a rollover and we need to go and test deeper waters here to have a bit of a reset and to get more investors, more ammo to start bidding this back up from lower depths. So here we have it. This is the big message coming out from Google, an important next step on our AI journey. CEO Sundar Pichai posted this late last night, UK time. So I'm going to read you a few excerpts from this. It starts off as follows. AI is the most profound technology we are working on today, whether it's helping doctors detect diseases earlier or enabling people to access information in their own language. AI helps people, businesses and communities unlock their potential and it opens up new opportunities that could significantly improve billions of lives. That's why we reorientated the company around AI six years ago and why we see it as the most important way we can deliver our mission to organize the world's information and make it a universally accessible and useful. So quite a powerful opening statement there. This gives you an idea of the scope of how big AI is going to be from one of the biggest tech companies in the world. They're saying, look, AI, we're all in. This is going to be massive. Take damn note. And here is where they start to introduce what they're releasing. Google lets you know that they have been investing deep into AI. And this technology is very much expanding at a rate of knots. It says the scale of the largest AI computations is doubling every single six months, which is outpacing Moore's law. So what we can see here is a seismic shift in terms of the AI features we can expect over, say, the coming year. And I think we're going to get frequent updates in terms of what is now possible with artificial intelligence. So Google's AI feature here is now called Bard. Not super hot on the name particularly, sounds a little bit like Bart Simpson, but here is what they say. We've been working on an experimental conversational AI service powered by LAMDA that we're calling Bard. And today we're taking another step forward by opening up to trusted testers ahead of making it more widely available to the public in the coming weeks. So we've got a timeline there. In the next few weeks, a chat GPT rival is going to be launching publicly from Google. Take note of that. Maybe the end of Feb. 
Bard seeks to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power, intelligence, and creativity of our large language models. It draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high-quality responses. Bard can be an outlet for creativity and a launchpad for curiosity, helping you explain new discoveries. From NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old, or learn more about the best strikers in football right now and get their drills to build your skills. So this is super, super intriguing. ChatGPT has that kind of cap limit of back into 2021, so no new information, but it sounds like what Google is going to release with Bard is going to have up-to-date information. And as you can see from this, it's more like having a conversation with the AI bot direct from your Google search. And they say this is gonna be a lightweight release initially. Obviously there's gonna be huge computation requirements for this, but then they're gonna start rolling it out after test phases. So this is gonna be crazy what we have to look forward to here. They say questions like they get on Google, like how many keys does a piano have? They're expecting Bard to actually change the way we phrase questions. So you could come and ask it, is the piano or guitar easiest to learn and how much practice does it need? And then it can filter through all the information online, bring you some responses in terms of first person reviews, that kind of stuff, maybe even the videos, and just give you a whole new amount of depth to each of your queries on Google. It says these new AI features will begin rolling out on Google search very soon. So this really is pushing the boundaries here. We're seeing something really huge take off with AI becoming accessible to our fingertips. This is crazy to see and super, super exciting in my opinion, although maybe slightly dangerous as to where this could head. And if it's doubling in power every single six months, well, who knows how far ahead we're gonna be 12 months down the line from here. So this is Sundar Pichai, his image at the bottom there, CEO of Google and Alphabet. And he ends off with this, whether it's applying AI to radically transform our own products or making these powerful tools available to others, we'll continue to be bold with innovation and responsible in our approach. And it's just the beginning, more to come in all these areas in the weeks and months ahead. So I think in terms of the roadmap ahead here, uh, we've got some serious things to look forward to over the course of this year. And the AI narrative widely in the greater world, but also in crypto is one that you really cannot ignore. For a few factors, where else can you actually bet on the success of artificial intelligence right now? You're not a big time VC in Silicon Valley. You can't buy into any of these funding rounds, but you can get exposure via crypto tokens. So that's why they've been going crazy real recently. And the amount of news coverage these AI integrations are getting, of course, Google releasing BARD here is monumental. Let's not understate that. It's getting covered by everything. CNN, Sky News, The Guardian, every single tech channel, every single major news outlet is having to cover this. And anyone who's everyone on Twitter is going nuts about it as well. So ChatGPT looks like it was the appetizer of Google coming in with the main. Drop me a comment down below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on Google Bard. So in terms of getting price exposure to this AI narrative, this is where people are coming. They're coming and buying AI shit coins. So as you can see, this industry is going crazy. Yesterday it was on 1.7 billion. It's now up to 2.2 overnight. Loads of these are pumping like crazy in terms of how I feel about this. I'm a little bit uneasy. It feels very topish, but with the amount of people who could get exposure to these markets and these kind of news stories breaking right now, there's catalysts immediately ahead of us. Google do have the full YouTube kind of showcase of Bard coming live tomorrow on the 8th of February. So you might want to tune in for that one, but you can see some ridiculous gains being posted here. And a lot of the low caps are just pumping like mad. So a lot of people have been just, you know, rotating their profits from the big boys, Singularity Net, FET, and then pumping the lower caps down here as well. Approach with caution is my statement on this. I have taken a little bit of profit on Deep Brain Chain here, because I'm up like three and a half X from entry. I felt a little bit, you know, uneasy holding it all. So I've sold off one quarter of my bag at this point and we'll look to rebuy any big dips. And thanks for the comment under yesterday's video. So someone posted, yes, Deep Brain Chain is actually officially on Uniswap already. So I didn't notice this due to the fact under the exchanges on CoinGecko, it's not currently listed on there but their CEO, Deep Brain Feng here, does say Uniswap liquidity has now been added. That was live on the 5th of Feb. So you can trade this 
on a westernized exchange or a DEX, as previously it was only on really Gate and Huobi with any sort of liquidity. This is a decentralized compute network and all these AI things are gonna require huge amounts of computation to process. So DBC, a 2017 altcoin in this AI industry could be a net beneficiary of this movement. But generally what we're seeing anyway is that all of these AI coins are pumping like crazy. As I mentioned, it's one of the only routes you can get exposure to this industry and people will bet on this. And in addition to yesterday's intro to Conflux here, this guy is in fact the co-founder. Again, thanks for the comments on yesterday's video. He actually went through the fact, you know, this is a proof of work and proof of stake token. And here is the issuance. So it seems he's been peppered with responses around the inflation of this token. So he's clarified things here. The current proof of work issuance to CFX per block, block time 0.5 seconds, 126 mil annual inflation from that. And then POS is 0.04 per block. This puts it at roughly 30 million CFX annually. That staking rate is around 15% at this moment if you were to stake the token, which I plan on doing with a portion of my bag. I will do an update on that once I actually get around to do it. Obviously the market is pretty crazy right now, so I'm just trying to trade this. So he's saying the issuance here is 126 plus 30, so 156 million tokens per annum. So the inflation rate is 2.9% per annum at current. He also mentions there will be a halving on the proof of work blocks as well. So this could bring it down to roughly 1.8% as well. Here is the token. It's currently at 6.6 .6 cents. As you can see, we spiked this kind of 8 cents region on a few occasions here. It is in a nice bullish posturing and kind of bull flagging here. Next resistance around 9.5 cents over here and then up to around 13, 14 cents up here. If we do start to push into these kind of territories, this is where I will be selling half of my bag. I've then got a free position in this token and I will stake the remainder. And finally, in terms of AI vertical accumulation, you have BitTensor here. This is one of the real deal coins in this space in terms of many of these AI coins are probably going to be shit coins. However, you know, they're going to pump like crazy anyway. This one has the same issuance model as BTC. It is a proof of work token. It seems to have a lot of big brains really seriously backing it. I've done a small bit of research on this one. It is legit, but as you can see, this is vertical accumulation at this point and the price is just going up and up and up. So a little bit uneasy covering tokens like this, especially when it's not listed on any DEXs or sexes. You can only buy OTC via the BitTensor exchange but the point is that this could be the real deal one, the absolute kingmaker, the one that does have phenomenal value and captures the lion's share of the AI market going forward. So in terms of a strategy, making gains on maybe some of the shittier coins and rotating into a bit tensor with a Tau ticker is probably a good way to start thinking about playing this one. I will cover this more once it gets listed on a DEX, but if you want to check out how to actually buy it via BitTensor Exchange, the OTC, there are videos on YouTube for that currently. So Google Bard is definitely paving the way here for an absolute super cycle for the AI coins. Drop me a comment down below what are your favorite AI coins and their tickers so I can go and give them the once over. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next video. Peace.